Hi folks, I would like to thank you first of all for all the good comments that you've given me on part number four of building your own pain boot. And there were a few mistakes there and happy to correct some and to explain certain things. One person, David, said that my calculation didn't make sense, that was a mistake uh, for the fan. And he's absolutely right. Remember in the boot, I calculated the distance between the two filters to be a certain width, a certain height, we multiplied the two with each other and then we set the desired airspeed is 30 centimeters per second or one foot per second and we worked it all out multiplied by 3,600 seconds and I ended up with about 9,000 cubic meter of air to be evacuated where my fan could only do 4,000. So what that means is that in my case if I stick to the fan that I have and the fan I showed you already that I'm gonna have an air velocity of 0.6 meters because if I do multiply this by 0.6 then you will see I'm near to where I'm supposed to be. So in fact, my final outcome, if I calculate it, will be 0.7 meters second. That will be what I will achieve with this fan here. Then me being stupid, I stated like, okay, then I'm happy with 0.6 meters or 60 centimeters of air velocity per second. Well, that of course is wrong. That should have been the half of 0.3. It should have been half a foot. It should have been 15 centimeters and not six or two feet. So that was the mistake. I said it's a stupid mistake, but for the rest the calculation is correct. The formula is correct. So that's good. So David, thank you so much for correcting me because I needed that and I still don't know why I goofed up like this, but that happens sometimes. I also had another person called Ross and he made a good comment about the fan. So the fan that I used, uh, he referred to the fact that this fan is not an explosion free fan. Because typically the motor is outside the air channel if you have a uh, explosion free fan. And in my case the motor is in the air channel. Well uh, Ross, uh, I can assure you that this specific fan that I procured is explosion free to some extent. It has a sealed body and it does not have any brushes or carbon brushes or gliders inside the engine. It's a pure induction engine so there is no arcing inside the engine and it's sealed completely. Both the cabling housing and the motor itself and it's class marked as an explosion free fan. But you're right, um, normally you would expect the motor to be outside and there are different levels of uh, explosion free products and this one will just do the job for me. There was another comment made about the fan that the fan is not uh, an exhaust fan but an intake fan. Well yes that what, that's what you would think when you look on the model of the fan but reality is that this fan based on its specs can be used for both purposes. So I just wanted to clarify that one. So if you ever go out and buy a fan make sure you have one for both purposes for extraction or an intake and maybe it can do both but if it cannot then you have to get the right one. This specific fan did both. So thank you so much for your comments and please keep commenting and please keep on correcting me if I'm going wrong somewhere because sometimes I don't even see it myself. I know it but I don't see it in my video. It's kind of strange but anyway guys thank you so much um, for all those nice comments and those corrections. That's what we're here for. We learn from each other. Thank you so much and I'll see you in my next video. And now I'm going to have my dinner. Bye bye.